Well, folks, the MDF dam is on for the resin. Just screwed to the end of the layout. Uh, sealed on the inside with some white glue and some tape. I'll show you that in a second. Works well. You can see the white glue around the bottom of the, um, the dam near the white, the clear tape. Just seal it against the resin leaks. I use these disposable resin cups. You'll notice up here they're marked two to one. Plus over here you've got percentages for extra resin, so plus 10, 20 or 30 percent extra resin hardener. They have three to one, four to one, and then they have a millimeter scale on them. These are 600 mil cups. As I say, they're disposable. You buy them off eBay for a pack of 50. Invaluable. Very accurate to measure your your resin. So you put in two parts resin and then one part hardener. So two parts resin, one part hardener. As I say, you can go to the extra 10, 20 or 30 percent hardener if you want. Just makes it so easy. Okay guys, the resin is poured. I will allow it to harden for about four days. And I've just applied Woodland Scenics Water Effects. This will dry clear. I've just done the ripples and the waves around the rocks. A view from the other side. As I say, this will dry clear. Then we'll just dry brush it with some white paint. You can see it's starting to dry here. That's what I use to make my waves and ripples. And if you have a look here, it's a bit hard to see, but that's my waterfall. When it's dry and painted, I'll put that on and we'll have a look at that as well. It's a bit hard to see behind the trestle. That's the bottom of the waterfall. That's the rock face. Goes up. That'll be the top of the second waterfall. Up another small waterfall. And that's the top of the third waterfall. You'll see this as I complete it. Waterfalls are now in. This is the lower waterfall. It's divided by a rock so the water flows either side. Comes down and there's another smaller waterfall over the back 
bit hard to see. Zoom in a little bit. View of the waterfall looking through the trestle. Drops down obviously to the bottom. To my right, I've also finished the, I'll zoom out a bit, finished the, the end, I have a, some trees, small rockery, and of course under the trestle is also now finished. I'll just zoom back so you can see the general overview. Also just completed is a small road leading across the tracks track from the squatters camp So we'll have to move on to the upper section up here. Start laying some more track over the back. You'll see a turnout, and of course where that bottle is, there's another mountain to go up. I also finished that small section over there on top of the trestle. Okay, hope you enjoyed. Thank you. A view of the squatters camp from ground level. Come down to the wharf and the water will close under the wharf and from the trestle.